I'm Shiva. I'm Sandy. And this is Our, Our Relaxing, Relaxing Hobby. Hobby. How are you doing? Um, tonight's episode is about uh, handling of the pl handling, safe handling of the fish to some extent. Yes, and petting it's, them. And petting them as, as much as you can. Mm -hmm. um, so that's you know that's our big thing. Um, no, yeah. no, uh, no, uh, you can't uh, have bug spray on your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember I had to do that that one day. She about killed oh, me. Oh my gosh. I almost stuck my hand in the koi pond. I had I just went for a walk and I had a bunch of bug spray. Man, she's like, go wash your hands. I know. I was getting ready to tackle. It. I didn't even. I wasn't. It, <laughs> but it, you know, it doesn't even occur to a lot. Of, you know, it yeah. didn't occur to me. And and that is something that is kind of important. You know, because mm -hmm. they do have the, the slime coat that you have to protect. Well, it's and more, it more is, than that. It's like you can just poison yeah. your fish. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Oh, I meant in general. I meant like yeah. if your hands are dirty. I didn't mean about the yes. Yeah. The, yeah. Obviously, the poison. My hands was not a good Actually, idea. Actually, the dirty hands I would have dealt with better than any type right. of soap or detergent right. or bug spray. Yeah, yeah, I had a whole. I, I did. My fish. I did. And I was about to stick them in the koi pond. She would have killed me. Um, but no, I mean, it, you know, it, it's something that people need to know. I mean, it's well, not yeah, something I ever is, thought about, honestly. Yeah. You know, until you well, mentioned it. Yeah. So. Basically, um, you know, I I go on different little fish chat rooms and stuff like that, and. One thing I've noticed is that there are two camps when it comes to handling <laughs> yeah. fish. Right, yes. There yeah. is the camp that is like, if you touch your fish, they will die. You will disturb the slime coat and kill them. And then there's the other camp that's like, um, yeah, do what you want, just be careful about it. Obviously, we're in the second camp. Yeah, obviously, we're in the second camp. Sandy, Sandy's um, obviously in the third camp. That's the stupid one. But um, I've learned. I've learned. It was, yeah, it, was, it was a learning experience. It was something I just didn't know. I didn't think of it. So, But I do think of it now. Yeah. Regularly. Well, it's, it's important to know. Right. right. So um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go by a few step-by-steps on how to handle your fish, why you would handle your fish, what to avoid, and Sandy has already covered the what not to have on your hands when you put it yeah, in the with most, the fish. The most definite thing is not bug spray, but or, or any kind of heavy soaps or perfumes. You really want, anything. You yeah. don't want anything. You right. Know, you don't want perfumes. You don't want if you just did your nails. You don't want it. Um, and the reason for that is because different fish are sensitive to different things. Now, obviously, poisons like you know I don't know bug spray is bad for all kinds of fish, but then some of your smaller fish are going to be more sensitive to things like soap. And if you're putting, right. you know, if you just washed your hands or you just uh, used like sanitizer, which we all use nowadays, if you just do sanitizer and you stick your hand into a 20 gallon tank, you could very well contaminate your tank and kill your fish. Right, yeah. so but if you awful. stick those same hands into a $8,000 pond, the pond isn't going to care. So right, but there you still, is that yeah, too, but, you but still, you, yeah, it's a better water. habit to right. just... To so just have just plain water. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do wash your hands with soap and water, just make sure to rinse the soap off really, really well. Right, give um, it some time. Um, most people who come over to our, to our place love playing with the koi. Yes. Um, you've seen the videos before, we'll show them again right now. Uh, we have a indoor koi pond and it's a big novelty for people. You know, it's the background in. noise here anyway. Yeah. All the splashing you're hearing is the, actually the koi playing. Yeah. Um, when they hear us talking, they get, get, get excited and they mm -hmm. <laughs> do and things like that, make no, making noise like that. I see she. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, but yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's, so you know. it's a it's a novelty for people right. to come over, and because ours are so friendly, they want to come up. They they play, they hand feed, and we have to give everybody quick, quick yeah. uh, lessons on how quick. to uh, do this. We figured let's give the whole world a quick lesson on how right. to handle fish. Lot lotions are a big one too. I mean, because I mean, ev almost everybody, especially in cold weather, you mm -hmm. lotion up your hands. Yeah. Well, guess what? You got to go wash that off, and then yeah. you got to rinse your hands super, super well with water. Mm -hmm. Super, super well to make sure you don't have any soap too. So, but lotion is is a big one nobody thinks about because that was yeah. something I would would not think about originally. Well, basically anything. Yeah. So, a good rule of thumb is before you're planning on handling any type of fish, you want to make sure your hands are clean, and you want to make sure that they are uh, they are completely devoid of any type of residue, whether it's soap residue or Lotion, or, poison or, control. or alcohol, or poison, right. or whatever. Even food, even some foods. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I, well, I mean, I, yeah. Considering we throw them watermelon, I don't know what fruit we're talking well, about. I mean, there are some <laughs> things I sh I'm I know, sure. I know. I'm sure some greasy, nasty stuff you don't want to grease. Yeah, yeah, and it's not necessarily just koi we're talking about. I mean, right. Right. Yeah. Because I. Because I, yeah. you are going to have to handle more than just carp. I mean. You have a hit or up. even when you're even when you're in your tank and moving around plants and mm -hmm. things like that, you know, because I mean you do. Sometimes the plants come loose, 
Uh, fish are famous for knocking yeah. the plants loose. Or um, more often what happens is you're moving fish or you're netting fish and they right. jump out of the net and hit the ground. Now you gotta grab that fish real quick. That's happened to me that actually. It happened, happened to me the other day with a darn little neon. Yeah, I was saying it happened to me with one of my guppies. When I was getting one of the guppies out, it popped right out of the tank. And yeah, and those fish are like popcorn. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, you need to be it went under the, it went under the, it went under the, under the dresser. <coughs> I had to grab it out. Mm -hmm. um, and I just stuck it back in the water, and it's still in there. It's one of the girls. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's you know sometimes it doesn't. They don't do well doing that, but yeah. but some of them are fine. Um, but you just yeah, you want you you do have to move your fish. You do have to do things with the fish. Um, I mean, if you have a sick one, if you need to check them out for any reason. Um, yeah, that's the yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of reasons why you might have to touch your fish, not just for recreational and pet them. No, that's just us. Uh, yeah, that's well. That's just. Well, that's just these koi. Right. But that's not true because we do move the koi right. when they get sick as well. Now, the first thing I want to do is dispel the slime coat myth. And I know that there is some reason to believe that this is true because, yes, fish have a slime coat and, yes, it can be damaged. But it is not nearly as fragile as people seem to think it is. If your fish are healthy, it's, touching that slime coat is not going to hurt them. Right. Um, fish bump into each other, plants, rocks everything else all right. the time. Right. So you petting your fish is no different than right. a fish bumping into your fish or a fish rubbing against a rock or whatever. Use a little bit of common sense here people. Um, I've seen videos with pe with guys that breed koi that are worth you know more than my house three times over Right. Hugging their fish, so and, and, I've, and I mean, and, you know, something with the littler fish. I don't know if anyone's ever watched, but like you know, they have those things where like they have spas where you go and you put your feet in the spa in the water. The fish come up and nibble the dead skin off your feet. Mm -hmm. I mean, my guppies will do that. If you put your hand in the water, the guppies come up and yeah. nibble. Well, what if I had what if I had lotion on there? And guppies are very susceptible. You to are still everything. on the whole get your hands clean. We're talking about yeah, no. we're talking about how to actually do it. And you're still yeah. on the you're still on the lotion. I think Sandy Lee is telling you to keep your damn hands clean. Keep your damn hands clean. <laughs> but no, I mean, I mean, but I mean, that's another thing with the fish, though. I mean, they touch. Yeah, you know, mine are constantly touching and rubbing. Well, and so I'm thing, assuming it's the yeah, slime coat's not being first, injured. Yeah, the first thing that the that the fish are going to want to do is see if you got food. Right. That's just their their nature. Right. Um, now we've got some, Sheba's fish don't ever get fed. Well. Actually, I used to believe that it was just for food, but then I've learned, like with sushi in particular and a few of the others, they actually do enjoy being petted. Um, I think it just feels good to them, just like we would like getting a back rub or something. Mm -hmm. Well, sushi. I have experienced will, that with the little fish. They just like to yeah. No, for the food. big ones. If I put my hand in, I've taught them a closed hand means food, an open hand means no food. Right. And you'll see some of my larger ones will start you know, brushing up against my right. hand. Yeah, they do. I mean, even even K-Cone will come up now mm -hmm. and brush against your hand, not for food, but just yeah. to just to get attention. Yeah, I've seen yeah. it. I mean, uh, it so is. the idea that they're just doing it for food again, I'm going to dispel that one too. Right. But don't be afraid to touch your fish. Just know what to avoid. Um, the first thing I'm going to suggest, and I think a lot of our female viewers are going to hate me, is keep your nails trimmed. You don't want long dragon lady nails when you're handling fish. Uh, it okay. is way too easy to for a fish to make a sudden movement and then you end up jabbing into the gills or into the eye. Right, right. Um, which would or, damage the fish, yeah. which would hurt the fish. And like with the big powerful ones like mine, the koi will literally come, you know, rush over towards me and whatnot and whap me whap my hand around. Yeah, I could tear up my fish if I had dragon lady claws. So as much as I used to like having long nails, I haven't had long nails since I started fish keeping. Okay. Um, so you have to be careful about that. You don't want to do like acrylic nails or something and then have really strong, playful fish jumping on or right. trying to eat your fingers. They'll yeah, pull that's it not right as, off. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know if that would be a problem with the little ones because they're... They yeah, the little maybe ones, you, the little ones, it's a, you know, when you're talking like... Little ones you can damage, yeah, you can damage them easily no matter what you do. Right. I don't know if nails are worse or better, but I mean, well, yeah, it's just you a good rule of thumb. You don't have as much of a... Of a right chance of putting a nail into a guppy's gills as you are a right but you know gills. yeah but you can i mean if, if you were hit it just wrong you could mm. cut a guppy with a nail like that yeah i, mean, I can see that they, has, they they are fragile yeah. so generally speaking try to keep your nails nails right. short um the places that you really want to avoid are gills and eyes are the two big ones mm -hmm. Um, so what I tell people when they come over and is fins. I tell you gotta them, be careful with fins. Fins to an extent. The fins aren't right. nearly as... Are the, if you hurt the fin, it's not going to be lethal. Right. If you jam a finger in the gill, you're probably going to kill, yeah. kill it or really, really cause some damage to right. it. Right. Or, or blind, blind it, it if yeah. you jab the eye. 
So what I usually tell people when they're handling my koi is just over the top of the back. Right. Now I'm experienced enough with my fish that I know where the you know I can instinctively know where the gills are and pet but the sides away from the gills and I still have to watch out for those sudden turns. Right. You got it? <laughs> um, <laughs> I still have it's to watch out for episode. that. Um, but like Sushi, who will just very slowly wander and let me, you know, just yeah, stroke she just her likes, side, she likes to be stroked. Yeah. Um, I just know where to where to start stroking so she doesn't get uh, the gill. Yeah. yeah, so it clears the gill. Yeah, you just gotta kind of be careful. I mean, you know, common sense, I guess, is a good good mm -hmm. indication. But you know, now when you're lifting fish out of the water and you're gonna want it, that right. it's hard because you, it's very hard to avoid those gills and the fish is thrashing around. Right. Well, so. if, you, if you you know if you have a smaller fish using a net, obviously it's preferred. Um, <laughs> yeah, some of um, fish some you can't of, some of Shiva's fish you cannot. You have to literally pick them up by hand and or with a bucket. We've mm -hmm. done it with a bucket. Buckets. Um, but you still. But have you still to have to be careful. Yeah, you have to be careful. So it's it's a, you know because you don't want to damage gills, eyes, or fins. Mm -hmm. I mean you know, it's just kind of important to be yeah. careful. Yeah. So and again, if you have any questions about any of this, by all means. Give us some questions. Like, comment our page below. Go buy some stuff on our page. Do we have a yeah, they can we, buy some stuff yeah, now, right? We have a right? store now. Woo we have a store. We have a buy store. some stuff. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> we have a store. But, um, um, and uh, yeah, like, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, comment, comment. Comments are always fun. Keep in mind that a lot of the, the stories that we tell you are not typical for fish keepers because we do have different ways of doing things. Um, not 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 a lot of fish keepers are going to do things like pet their fish or teach them how to play fetch with a ping pong ball. With a ping pong ball. <laughs> yeah. Eventually I'll get my fish back to doing that and you'll get yeah. some footage of that. Yeah. But um, we, we learn as we go right. and we kind of we give you the pearls that we learn. Right. And, and we hopefully they will tell you about our mistakes too. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I make mistakes on a constantly daily basis, so it's all mm -hmm. good. I mean, look at me with Lucifer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, your killer, Oops. your killer blue lobster. Yeah, <laughs> in my tank with my poor little fish. Yeah. But anyway, he's he's better now. Yeah, he's slower. I, I, I he's bigger. Yeah, I noticed you haven't been talking fish gel as much yeah, now. Yeah, he doesn't have to go in fish gel lately. Now we just said it, we probably jinxed it. He's probably got in there walking around with the fish in his claw. <laughs> right. Uh, but no, but no, I mean, yeah, if you have any questions, by all means, let us know. And um, and also, if you have any suggestions for a show. Yeah. Because we're actually starting to run out of ideas here. Yeah. I mean, we And we're we willing can... to research anything you want to know about. Right. So. Now, we do have some things that we're hoping that we'll be doing here in the future soon, right. COVID permitting. Yes. Because, yeah. yeah, that COVID has really done a COVID number stopped on us again. I mean, we had, we had a whole bunch of plans, and we had to COVID stop them. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're hoping it kind of eases up again so we can go out and do some of the things that we talked about before. Yeah. We are still hopeful. Yeah. I still so. want to throw her to the sharks. Mm, yes, she does. She does. I do. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, and we still want to go. If you agree, comment below. <laughs> Sandy needs to go swimming with sharks. Yeah. That's great. Thanks. Uh -huh. Okay. And not little teeny dogfish either. Whatever. She wants to put me in a cage. I, I, I want you to free swim. Oh, yeah. I want free swim on them too. I would probably do that. No. Yeah. The 10 foot nurse shark that comes up and says hi. It's fabulous. There is nothing There's like, not enough comments for that. There is nothing like snorkeling and having a 10-foot nurse shark come up or like right That's under you. That's a coronary you. waiting to happen. <clears throat> I'm 5'5". Five five. This shark was twice my length. It was fabulous. I would have died right then. <laughs> died flat out. It could have eaten me. I would have jumped and walked on water. Me and Jesus, we're gone. <laughs> Was it Jesus that walked out the water? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You can tell how religious I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know Moses part of the Red think, Sea. I just sit here thinking that would have been me parting the Red Sea to run. You're supposed to be the badass. Yeah, I, I think are, I, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm wearing a Marine shirt. Yeah, but you're I wasn't wearing my Marine shirt today. Yeah, but, she's uh, supposed to be the badass Marine, and you know, oh sharks! It's like really. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even want to swim with dolphins though. They're meaner well, than sharks. I, I don't agree. I agree with you with the dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins are like the little assholes of the sea. Yeah. Yes, dolphins. I, that's one. I'm just gonna sidetrack here. Yeah, the we love, side -track dolphins yeah, we love seeing like Discovery Cove and Sea World. Oh, swim with the dolphins. Do you know what kind of assholes dolphins are? And you're gonna let your small children no, swim I'm with not. them? No, I would not. 
I would not. I mean, yeah. No. Ask, uh, dolphins, but, but if dolphins, but if, like, but if they get a wild hair up my butt, Marineland, you can swim with the dolphins now, which they couldn't do before. So we can go do that. I am more afraid of dolphins than I am the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> the sharks aren't nearly as intelligent. And by the, all the, means, the disagree sharks, with us below. Yeah, yeah, the, you know you're going to have some dolphin yeah, love. Ah! You yeah, did know sh- that was my school's mascot. Yes, the sharks aren't going to sit there and hold a grudge like a dolphin <laughs> will. Yeah. Sharks don't hold grudges. Dolphins do. Yes, they do. They yeah, do. You can't teach a shark to do like you know all these tricks. complicated tricks. Yeah. Yeah, tell dolphins me. Dolphins have a good brain in there. And they're yeah, gonna use it. dolphins are like, highly... Oh, you're going to keep me, in, gonna keep me in this little tiny thing? I'm going to kick your... Yeah, yeah, dolphins are highly intelligent. So you tell me again, do you want to be with a pissed off dolphin or just a shark? <laughs> shark that could care less as long as you fed it that morning. Yes. But anyway, comment. By all means, give us some comments. We're going to have some fun with those comments, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Sharks yeah. versus dolphins. Comment below. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Go dolphins. Go no, sharks. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm really... It's just, you know... I like dolphins because, you know, I'm not swimming think, with them, though. I think dolphins was, like, everybody at some no, point. No, it was my high school, school mascot, so... I think it was, like, my, my junior high mascot yeah. or something. That's or no, I mean, it was my I'm, elementary school. But, I'm, but I don't necessarily want to go swimming with them, either, because I'm not crazy. Yeah. Um, so, anyway. But, anyway, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Share. Um, share. Buy some stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. They can kind of sense mommy's gonna give him some food. Yeah. She's gonna show you some touching. Here, Bad touch, good touch. Guys, look what I got. This is good touch. This is sushi. This wanting is food. This is sushi. It was like, oh, food. But you see, she has to have her hand clean because you see how she's see, very gently touching them. Sushi's really good about. You know, you can see where the gills. Can you still say? Here. Let's let me see if I can get close. You get. Don't splash me, fish. Right, can yes. you see her gills? I don't know if you can. Oh, I'll angle. bring it over here. Here we go. See, gills are right here, but, oh, okay. Well, you can see it better on him. Yuri's going to show us. Mm. He's going to show us gills. Come on, guys. Hoseki, you can see the gills there on Hoseki. It's pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. It's kind of hard on sushi because she's so damn fat. Yeah. Some of the but darker ones you can't see. But, oh, there's sushi. Okay, there yeah. we go. I got a good shot that time. Yeah, here's sushi. Why see, there's her, there's her gills. That's something you don't want to don't wanna yeah. be careful with her eyes, you obviously. Stick to the sides here. What I usually do is I keep my hand open like this. They know what a hand is. They also want to test to see if I have food. Plus, I already just had meal. Yeah, I say she just had meal worms, so yeah. sushi is sure there's food. But I generally tell people, you know, just go basically halfway down. The fish is a good safe right. place to start because right. the gills are going to be in the first, the first fourth. So you just want to, if you're going to pet a fish, stay halfway down and then let them. Right. It's a good. Yeah, way to go that. I like how the littles are all like, hey. Yeah, you guys want mealworms, I know. You know, when you're feeding them, again, you have to really watch out for eyes. Yeah, because they, know, they get their they, mouths they, in their they, face. They want to get right up on you. Yeah, so. that's when you got to be careful of the eyes. See how yeah. Sushi will get. Well, Sushi's a little different because she's well, big, uh, so hi, big. But hi, Koshi, here. Try to see, me, show me one of the smaller ones, see, because their eyes are closer to their mouths. Yeah, let's see here. Sushi, yeah. can, I, can I show somebody else here? Here, Keiko. You want somebody, some, somebody small? No, oh, too late. Here. There you go. I sort of. Well, Gecko. There you go. Yeah, but there's. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sushi's too much like splashing. Lurking. Yeah. Sushi's lurking. That's all right. They kind of got the idea, I think. Yeah. I mean, this is another reason to keep your nails going is because these little assholes will try to grab your finger. And yeah. I'm letting them do it right now, but like Sushi can get my whole finger in her mouth if she wanted to. Nope. <sighs> Chicken. Coward. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you can see how they. You know. Yeah, I let the littles nibble on my fingers. Just not sushi, who can eat my whole finger. Yeah, but you see how they're jerking their head too. They're trying to take my finger off. That's what they're doing. They think yeah. that they think that they're going to be able to break my finger off and eat it. It's like nice try, guys. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, and then you wonder why Sandy doesn't laugh at that big ass fish to put her finger <laughs> in. <laughs> Little fish, it's all cute and adorable. Right, big I mean, fish. That's not another so much. reason to keep your nails short. Is because right, yeah, because they are putting like in. That, yeah, put them in your mouth. Right, yeah, the nails, the nails being short is kind of important just yeah. because, like, that could hurt them. Oh, yeah, then it's like hooking them. Yeah, but, you, you could know, cut the these, inside of their mouth. These guys are really used to being handled a lot. Now, you know, I, I it's second nature to me, so I can just throw my hand in here and know, you know, where to Where not are. to touch, you're right. But when you start out, you want to be... Just be careful. Very mm-hmm. careful, and expect the fish when they're not used to being touched. Like, I to don't jerk. anybody who's really not... 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, if you move fast enough, they're going to yeah, jerk. Yeah, you want to stay slow. Now, if I were to move fast, of course, Sushi doesn't give a shit. <laughs> sushi is not you going know, to yeah, move. I, I move fast and these guys don't give a shit. But, but like, if I stuck my hand in unexpectedly where they didn't expect it, watch. See well, how now they're going to well, prove us all wrong. Except for Sushi, who is staying right here. <laughs> they're all staying here. They're used to you by now. Yeah. All right, if somebody <laughs> didn't Fucker. know. God damn it, Sushi. <laughs> She, Ooh, she got me. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. It just freaked me out. Now, if somebody they didn't know came in and right. just immediately plunged their hands in, and whatnot, sometimes if I do it when they're sleeping in the mornings, if I put my hand in there to say hi, it scares them because they're right here by the, you know. Yeah, they can they can turn on it. But these on. guys do not care. Yeah, these are these guys. Yeah. <laughs> these guys want attention and they like it. Yeah, and they're just not. A, and mommy never feeds them. That's why they're eating my fingers. Yeah, that's right. They wanted to eat your fingers because I never feed them. Yeah, we, we as didn't. you can see how skinny and scrawny they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But this is what she was talking about with the fins, too. Especially like you're right here, here yeah. the butterfly. She's got very quick. soft fins. I brush against the fins all the time, but I always keep an open hand. I don't, you know, you don't want to do that. Right, you don't want to you know. grab the fin the wrong way and break something or, you know. Yeah. Because that's cruel. But that's how you uh, handle fish without killing them. And I don't know if Sushi's going to let me pick her up on it. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, whatever, go ahead. Well, I don't know who else will let me pick them up. Because, let's see, anybody going to let me pick you up? Nope. Anyone? She's like, did you just do that on purpose? Not happening. Anyone? How about you, Yugari? Screw you, mommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, by the way, what you just saw there is uh, Karasu, who likes being petted. Go figure that one out. Yeah. I understand that's a rarity. I don't and want then to there's the then there's this one who's not even. Oh, now he's gonna move. Yeah. Um, the one that always lays at the bottom. I can never remember. Oh, uh, Tiao. Tiao. Yeah. You no, know, I was hoping that one of the. I didn't want to pick up a, a butterfly, but if one of the short fins would let me. But no. There I you have go. Patches, but patches is a goldfish. Patches is a goldfish. Patches yeah. like by all means lift me. Yeah. Right. I break my wrist lifting patches one handed. I was kind of. You hoping. lifted sushi. She's heavier. I was, yeah, but I was using water. I wasn't <laughs> lifting her out of the water. If I could, if like you know, Shinigami or, uh, or, um, yeah, no, Kai or something. Yeah, they're not that brave. Yeah, you know, would let me do it. The chest right. is too big. That's okay. But yeah, um, hey, Renge. Hey, here's one of the babies. You know the ones. <laughs> yeah. The one. The, the one accidentals. Of well, both of them are right there. They're right yeah, there. Yeah, Jocko and Renge are right there. Yeah. And here comes one of the whites. Yeah. Oh, that's gay soon. Yeah, that's one of the babies, too. Yeah. Look how huge. I know. Well, those babies are a couple years old now. The baby babies. The baby babies, yeah. The, Where the, the hell's the, Where's the crows? Where's Koshi at? Come here. Where's crows Koshy? are nowhere to be seen. Okay, Koshy's here's right here. Okay. There's Koshi. Yeah. A year one. old. Not, yeah, just a year old. Here's another one. This is Gecko right here. Yeah. Year old. <laughs> yeah. Nope, don't feed you guys at all. Nope. <laughs> All right. All right.